What's up guys, it's Henry here, so I'm with my friend Jack and also David. So today, Hello. today on this video we're going to do a discussion talk, discussion, um, talk of like MCM coming up. I know in a few weeks, um, for like a couple, like couple of days and a couple of weeks away for MCM. Depending on when they're watching this video, uh, the day afterwards. Yeah, okay. so in a couple of weeks, um, MCM in Scotland is going to be on the uh, 28th and the 29th of uh, September. So with, but first we're going to have a discussion talk of our past years. So like, but yeah, our past years has yep. been crazy as well. There might be a few ups and downs with MCM, but we still enjoyed it. So, but first off, um, what do you think of it? So David, I know I've known you about a couple of years, uh, way longer, and what, before I met Jack, um, I know we went to MCM Scotland 2013. We didn't, we didn't uh, like obviously like see each other back then, but then 2014 we actually started. Um, going there for the first time like, together and all that, so how did you feel at that point, um, the, the changes from the past years? Yeah, uh, 2013 was like, I've been going to fun since 2010, but 2013 was when I got introduced to the first by community. The first day in Scotland was, and yeah, we started going to the cons together since 2014 when we first stayed the uh, family then, yep. and we've been going ever since, this is our uh, sixth year now. Oh. And, um, Definitely like changed up and I'm not here mean, just from having just from a Saturday to, to Saturday Sunday. Yeah. But it's been getting bigger not just from the attendance but uh, the amount of stores, the events and the guests that they have. So yeah. it's been getting bigger and bigger as well. I know some people uh, aren't kind of keen on it because of the the types of guests and more like kind of folks in one voice actors and that. But considering it's not like the sort of kind of guests, I think it's a good thing and yeah. I, I say that like Maybe they will get some work from film and television because MCM kind of feels like a jack of all trades. You get classical film comic which is more like film and comic, you get decor and red color, which is more kind of like anime based and yeah. that. So this it's one is like all yeah, mixed. All mixed. It's yeah. what everyone yeah. yeah. So I I know I met you, Jack, in uh, 2015. I think that's the memorable yeah. first time. Yeah. yeah, I've known you a couple of years now since we're on the road and you're starting to. Um, yeah, I've started having to branch out. Yeah, branch out and then you're uh, really interested, so. like, interested with our stuff and yeah, stuff like that. So what, what did you think in the past years? Do you went to MCM Scotland? Like, not before and then now? I mean, so, like, the difference is your mind. For MCM Scotland, it's the best con of the year, really. It's the yeah. biggest con oh. of, the, of the year in Scotland. Right, okay. And I feel like with the changes over the years, there's been some positive changes. Mm. Like, um, that whole back area opening up yeah. to expand yeah. the yeah. con out. I feel like that was a really good, good change to me. And, um, there's been some changes that are not so great, I can't really think of them right now. Yeah. But sometimes when they have the costume masquerade, I don't know oh, because yeah. they sometimes have a different area. Sometimes they have it in this nice big area on itself. Yeah. And sometimes they have it in the, like the kind of back corner of the MCM. Yeah, there's some, some different so areas. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's really like real to say sometimes it's, it's just in the kind of corner. But that might it's be like a problem. something. I remember watching it in 2014, it was like a proper stage. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah this is when like uh, we watched a uh, proper stage this time around yeah. uh, that year. Um, I It blew my mind. It, was, it, feels, like, it feels like I'm a fan of watching yeah, that stage so, when I was on performing. It, yeah. It's real professional. At the same time, it's a little bit scary if you're performing. Yeah, because you know. obviously you're on that kind of stage, and I understand that. Yes. Um, but as me as a fan watching it, it, it feels like. It feels great. I mean, it feels like you're watching a live show. I mean, I like that. If you can do that, you can do anything. Yeah. yeah. And then last year, it was like this curtained off area in the middle of the food pit. Yeah. And in like the middle of the food trucks, yeah. which not only limits the con space, but also is yeah. an inconvenient for and a lot of people. It's not as much seating as the arena as well. Yeah. 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 Myself, why? Yeah, exactly. Myself, I. I didn't expect a lot of changes every year. But I, in my opinion, I quite like what is what is the, the changes they're making, and uh, it, it actually helps the build up to grow. And I, I feel so happy, and I feel so alive actually. The other thing they'll do, the other thing they'll be, they'll grow so big they'll need to expand into the hydro. Possibly, I mean, like two, two, di two, yeah, two different buildings, obviously that, and then the hydro as well. So I always love it. Yeah. I remember one year. They opened up an, another area, like a third area for the Yeah, because obviously how big it's going to be. Yeah. And you know what's going to be crazy. And 
they did it that one year and they haven't opened it since. Yeah. But, do you remember that? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, yeah. it was cool though. What I mean, it was interesting. Like, I mean, like so. it didn't have any stalls in it or anything. It was just yeah. kind of a common area. It, just that. It, it's like a chill out ah, space. Yeah. I mean, ah, I remember that that room. That was back in 2016. Ah, I mean, yeah. that was that was really good for everyone see, to chill out. Ah, see, I feel like yeah. if they open up that area again, they can put in some I stalls. I also uh, help yeah. even put the masquerade in there. Yeah. Oh no, chill out area because that's a lot of people help. They'll help people. There's a lot of people that go to this coin. Yeah. And a lot of people do need to raise. And, and you can still say yeah. but it's like, Scotland, it rains. It, if it's gonna like, rain, then you well, need to find a chill out area, right. that's what it is. Well, yeah. As well, at the same time, there's the bar area that you chill out in. Yeah. And just there. See, yeah, that, you can see the whole line up for tickets. Yeah. 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 During the day, that's empty. Yeah. And uh, when I went down to the end of Birmingham, the line up place, that was just like an empty hall. Because mm. it was so, all the boots were held there. Yeah, so yeah. Stuff yeah. For last year, they were saying, why don't we just go there? Yeah. And we did that for the my dear the game with me. Yeah, it worked. It really worked. Yeah. And that's a good place to do that for this year as well. Uh -huh. But yeah, my past years for the for MCM, I'm really happy. And then yeah. I'm, it just I feel I feel really different every year that the MCM Scotland that I go to. The past years, every year, um, I just. Sometimes uh, the feeling you never know is going to be good, weird, bad, or whatever. I mean, but the yeah. feeling is just it felt so good. I mean, but it's just the fact that um, I know that sometimes I would have to do changes or make new updates or whatever it is. It's fine. I mean, it's, as long as they know what they're doing. So they can span me to other MCMs. Yeah, I went to three years like last year. <laughs> I moved up to MCM Birmingham. Yeah, uh, like kind of stepping stone to London. Like yeah. as big as yeah. Glasgow, but not as big as London. Yeah, I went for the first time last year with my friend Amy mm. and it was amazing. Oh, my great guests, yeah. um, lots of like wide open space, good venue up there. Mm. Met my current met my girlfriend at the time so yeah. I was like can't complain about yeah. that. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I'm looking forward to going back again this year. Yeah. So for cosplays right uh, what was your favourite cosplay that you wore for MCM Scotland for the past years? I mean, like, like your favourite. My, my favourite one, obviously, obviously, there's Noctis. I wore to MCM Scotland, Blue uh, Blue Jake Saragi, and the third one was uh, Denki Calamari from My Hero Academia for last year. That was my favourite cosplay, so my favourite ones from for the past couple of years now. So, I quite like both of yours. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. yeah. So you, you've worn so many yeah, different costumes for me. I think I'd have to say it would be Nats the Blue. Because I've enjoyed a lot of my course plays that I've won over the years. But I think Nats the Blue. For MCM, yes. For Nats the Blue, I've won that back two years ago. And just, I think it because of all the hard work that was put into both making it and both putting it on. Because it was, I had a way, I had like face paint with six different paints. Like, it was a robot that was possible, but I need to make it look like metallic and then yeah. have the kind of like the neon, like it's one of the suits. Mm -hmm. it had like a turtleneck sweater, that had the foam armor over, like the chest plate, mm -hmm. the armor. I had like dance tights for like my arms to make it look like metal and the gloves. I had a belt that went on. Um, I had these big giant Goga boots. Like, yeah, uh, I think I've seen those. I think they're blue. I brought them, but I don't know yeah. what I like. I like them more. Because uh, you custom made it. Yeah. Yeah. So I was going on in armor, face paint, LED belt, and Goga boots. So that was, that took me like, three, like two, two to three hours to like, do the makeup and put yeah. it all on. I wish I could do it more. Yeah. Yeah, it's more of a cosplay. So that's your, that was your favourite cosplay? I do. It needs to appear, so I wish I could wear more of it. It's definitely like an outfit. Yeah. I would need to wear to a con where I'm near the hotel. So yeah. what about you, Jack, though? Um, what are yeah. your favourite cosplays you've worn for MCM Scotland? My favourite cosplays? I have no what? idea. You have no idea? Um, What's MCM? the best experience you've had for uh, one cosplay? Aye, uh, for the one that, uh, that you cosplayed. It seems the con I started cosplaying at. Aye, but you've been there for a few years, but then yeah, you've worn I've, quite I've, different I've, cosplays. You've well, I've done a good number of very different cosplays like I've done. My first was Daryl Dixon from Walking Dead and then I did um, the year after that that was Fed from Adventure Time. Then it was Nightwing. I remember you I remember I saw you for your first Nightwing was back in 2015. I haven't worn it since. I so that's my first set. I mean, you and then the year after 2016, I mean, I remember you cosplayed to Hawkeye as well. So. I cosplayed Hawkeye yeah. that year. That was the first time I did two different cosplays, I think. That's good. I did, um, what did I do that year? Oh. I, did, I did Flash and I did yeah. Hawkeye. Oh, that's right. And I did, uh, that's right. 2017, I did, um, I'm trying to remember what, I'm, what I've done. There's so many, isn't there? 
So, I mean, I don't want to explain my own works and experience of cosplay, but yeah. Oh, um, what? Did you already cosplay for MCL? Uh, I haven't worn my Neptune for MCL. Oh, you know, you didn't already, yeah. I've only really worn that for Icon. Okay. So, what's. Uh, our favourite highlight moment for the past oh. years for MCM is well, my highlight moment was probably when I was uh, Blaze Blue at that point uh, on 2016 and then I remember that last year when I was Denke I met the voice actors of Overwatch, that was my highlight moment, that's my favourite one and yes. you know, and even uh, my one Damien made, that's my favourite highlight moment last year for MCM Scotland. So those are good ones, I mean definitely for sure. Um, meeting new folks around the way, so um, what about you, what was your favourite highlight? Uh, it's a hard try because like, there's all the fun that I've made over the years, like good for videos. Any like had good, amazing highlight moment uh, experience you had? There's mainly against all that, I think it's just the... I never see the first time I ever did the costume match I did. Mm. Like, performing the MCM match was like... And the first one was for like, the Plasma performance. Yeah, that's I think, again, going back to the arts, the book, <laughs> was when I did that kind of dance performance. Mm -hmm. And it's one thing to go on stage, and it's one thing to dance. Yeah. It was more like, you know, like a robotic dance, but it was something I had to yeah. learn. Mm -hmm. I even though I didn't get 100% right, mm -hmm. I didn't. Right. But, um, so I'm very proud of that. Yeah. What were your job? What was your highlight? Yeah. Any, one, any favorite highlight? If I had to like... Year? Like, well, I had to like maybe one standout moment was when I met Aaron who voice Light the movie. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I remember they came I remember they came from 2016. Oh, it was yeah. so nice. I wish I had to meet them before I got to the movie. I I got to meet them and um, yeah. I remember I um, I met them, I got in the second party of one and I think I was shaking for about an hour because I was so excited. Like after I was like, I'm going to go to the movie. Did you speak to them? Like, did you get a few minutes? Yeah, I did speak to them. Oh, sorry. I got a lot of that for me to get that frame. Yeah, I wanted to meet them someday. I mean, since I got into Ruby now, so I'll meet them. They announced them for the same once. Yeah, it's a shame that I couldn't go down to someone in the show. Well, someday they will come back. I mean, I'm sure. Yeah, so. hopefully. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was our highlight. That was our favorite highlight. Um, oh, uh, also met me in Tomska. Oh, Tomska. Yeah, yeah, I'm in Tomska. I did my uh, intro from our C and D. Nice to see you. 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 Nice any final words before we're going to cut this off maybe for this discussion time? Um, um, like, just uh, coming up like for this this year, what are your thoughts? Or I am looking forward to MCM in Scotland, I hope it doesn't get over... This year? Yeah. I, uh, don't, I don't think... I hope it doesn't get overshadowed by the convention I'm going to next week. This is my... I'm going to the next week. This is yeah. my first one outside the UK. Uh, I'm not just saying I'm going to be right. That's uh, flex or nothing? <laughs> Yeah. I'm looking forward to it, yeah. because yeah. it's like the big all in on the yeah. even though there's cons after it, it's like the one that yeah. everyone goes to, it's the one that like the most for them to go, so it's like yeah. the big one. It's a it's big, it's big one to, uh, for the Scottish community. Oh, it's yeah. 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 Even like some new ones from yeah. down south England, some, some of them do come up. Let me actually come to them I, I, I remember I bumped in a few. A few of my mates there, they came up last time, like a year or a year ago. Right. Hayley, yeah. Hayley and Yellers, and then my friend Jessica as well, and stuff, so yeah. it was crazy as, but it's, dude, it's amazing. So, what about you? Um, your final thoughts? My final thoughts are that so this year, like, you've come to all have a good time there. Yeah. We'll yeah. make the best of Yeah, that's the important part, though, because yeah. we, we want to have, all of us want to have a good time, I mean, so it's like a holiday theme. Exactly. I mean, because like, cool. we want to experience ourselves, like, um, what what we've done uh, during that, that con, I mean, so... So, um, so, let's just all have a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there one more plan us? Yeah, we should. I, for, well, obviously, three of us were definitely going uh, both days, like a full weekend, for yep. sure. Myself, uh, for cosplay, I'm, for Saturday, I'm definitely doing uh, RWBY with Ruby. Uh, I'm doing one of the villains called uh, Mercury, so one of the member of villains of it. So I'll be cosplay him for Saturday. Sunday, I'm definitely doing Pokemon this year because I know I haven't done Pokemon. It cosplays for 
and to MCN Scotland for the past couple of years, so now is a big chance. Um, I'm definitely doing a little bit of training already for the first time, that's a brand new debut. Um, so I'm excited, so it's just a casual, easy one I'm going to make for this year, just to uh, you know, make changes for this year a bit. Um, so I'm really excited for that, um, hopefully I'll try and get more updates for that and at some point uh, for the, the, that coin weekend starts as well along the way, so over you. Uh, for Saturday, I'm going to be cosplay as Riku from King of Arts. Which version is it? The Kingdom Hearts? Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah, yeah, that's so the I'm going for Sonic Con, like, yeah. got the cosplay, and I made the key later on too. So, they fun to play that back. And for Sunday, I wasn't sure, but I'm going to be cosplaying as JD from Heavers, because I might be doing that performance in the last day. That's my two cosplays. Um, on Saturday, I will be Deku again for My Hero Academia. I'll be doing the uh, USJ variant at the end of season one with all his, um, his the, um, training outfit with all his support items, the mask, and everything, and the shoulder pads and everything. And then on Sunday, I'll be James Potter with the Marauders. Nice, right? nice. And I think I, think I might get, try and get a rat plush okay. to represent Wormtail. So yeah, sure. I'll be playing Potter on Monday. So yeah guys, that's our, the, our cosplay lineups for this year of MCM Scotland, so yep. um, oh yeah, mate, hopefully I'll see you guys there, hopefully you'll enjoy, enjoy yourselves, I mean whoever's going, just have a good time, I mean, so hopefully you'll stick, stick by with your friends and also just have a good time, meet new people along the way, um, just also that um, if you ever see us, just come say hi and such, I mean, so mm -hmm. we're, we're more than happy just chill and chat a little bit, I mean, such, I mean, we'll have a good even, yep. even though we are busy, but we're more than happy Talk for like for a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds. I'll be doing one of my cosplay yeah. music videos in the event. Yeah. Follow me on the mental health. Uh, we're all see doing cosplay yeah, we're all doing cosplay music videos for that. So you, we you, all basically, yeah, you follow him, you follow Jack for Super, Super Jack DC. Yeah. Uh, my friend David Mental Hang is cosplay. You can follow him on his channel or myself. Obviously, him exactly as cosplay is. It's already yeah. on it, so you're just watching it now. So we're all but, yeah, yeah watch my channel so yeah guys, um, make sure, if you are definitely going, just drop a comment and stuff, right? And then make sure you uh, have a safe journey on you know on the road as well. So, but yeah, we're excited. Hopefully I'll see you in that weekend, I mean, so the countdown's yeah. begun, the on the road has begun, so hopefully I'll see you there, I mean, so hopefully I'll see you guys at the event, so make it a good one, we'll have a make it an amazing, amazing time, so, but anyways, I'll see you guys later.